Hey guys, me, Mr. Casual, and in this video, I'm going to be reading an article from Bloody Elbow about how Henry Cejudo said that um, Stipe Miocic is a easy, easy money for John Jones. So let's get into it, all right? So in the article, it says, After having worked with John Jones multiple times in the past, former UFC two-division champ Henry Cejudo is confident Bones cruises um, to victory against Stipe Miocic. Um, Triple C, who is now one of the most respected coaches in the sport, went as far as to say that Miocic is easy money for Jones and that the latter is superior to Miocic in every aspect of mixed martial arts. So, as we know, you know, Henry Cejudo is, you know, coaching John Jones right now. So, he's talking about, like, you know, how he thinks John Jones is going to be really you know, a problem in the heavyweight division and how he, like, literally thinks Steve Miocic is easy money for John Jones. I think, I'm a big John Jones fan, but I think Steve Miocic is still going to be a problem for John Jones. I know Steve Miocic is, like, up there in age now, but, you know, so I'm going to continue reading the rest of the article. So, um, Henry Cejudo said, I love this fight for John. Just because everything that Stipe has, John is better at. Cejudo said on the Triple C and Schmo, Schmo show, if he was fighting a Francis Ngana, I was a little more cautious with that one just because of pure power. And when you have somebody that has scary power like that, it's a strength that kind of overwhelms whomever. You got power, but Francis Ngana power is different. And then um, Henry Cejudo said, but with the Stipe fight, I like it for John. I think it's going to allow John to really work on everything, like mixed martial arts as a whole. Um not just stick into one base so at the end of the day i think it's easy money for john jones you know don't forget john jones hasn't fought in two years and two months he hasn't fought um since like february 2020 you know right now it's april 2022 so literally 26 months he hasn't fought and Stephen miocic hasn't fought um since march of 2021 so john jones has more ring rust than Stephen miocic both are probably gonna have ring rust but like you know john two years and two months is a pretty long time not to, not to be fighting you know so, um, and this is the rest of the article. There are questions surrounding Jones' desire to compete again after spending over two years on the sideline. But Cejudo, who got, who got work with Jones at um, Fight Ready in Glendale, Arizona, has assured us that the former UFC light heavyweight champion is looking to make a big statement in his comeback fight. Um, John's coming out John's coming out here with a different perspective, Cejudo said. His perspective now is to bring back the Johnny, bring back the Johnny Jones that was putting out um, Lyoto Machida, um, Shogun Rua. Um, when he went on that rampage of just killing the elite, that spirit in him is going to be awakened, awoken if it is if it's that he fights in July. Jones will reportedly fight Miocic for the interim heavyweight title um, at UFC 276 on July 2nd, so, even though the matchup isn't confirmed yet. So, you know, it's going to be for the interim heavyweight championship, you know, John Jones versus Stipe. It's going to be a really sick fight. I can't wait to see that. I'm a fan of Stipe and John. But like, you know, I don't think either it's, it's gonna be an easy fight for John Jones, you know, it's Stephen Miocic Like he's like literally one of like the best heavyweight champions we've had, you know, you know, like literally he's like up there he should, I think he's in the, he should be in the Hall of Fame if he's not already in the Hall of Fame You know, like he's literally like Hall of Fame like material, you know, so I don't know why like Henry Cejudo is being so confident I get it John Jones, you know, but like, you know Like it's Stephen Miocic, you know, like he's, he's a legend like I don't know you, you know, you can't ever underestimate anybody. You know, I don't know why Sohudo, like, plus, you know, John Jones have never fought in heavyweight in the UFC. Plus, it's been two years and two months. So it's like, it's going to play a factor, I think. You know, like Stipe, you know, he's been fighting heavyweights for a while now. And he's only not fought for a year, you know. So the experience in heavyweight definitely goes to Stipe. Even though, like, they say, like, you know, that John Jones, like, you know, trains with heavyweights. You know, he fights a light heavyweight. Like, a lot of his training partners are heavyweight. I get it, but there's a difference between training with heavyweights and actually competing against heavyweights in the UFC, you know? Like, like there's a big, big difference. You know, like, Stipe's actually fought heavyweights in the UFC and became the champion, you know? So he's used to fighting big guys. John Jones, like, he fights light heavyweights where, like, he's usually, like, way bigger than the light heavyweight, you know? Except for, like, you know, Alexander Gustafs and a few other people. He usually has, like, a really big size advantage. But in the heavyweight division, everyone's pretty big, you know? So he's not, he's not, he's not gonna have, like, a huge advantage, but... He's, he's, in, he's still, like, a pretty big heavyweight, I would say, you know? Especially since John Jones put up a bunch of weight now, you know? So, yeah. But I, I think, I, you know, I, I like that Sohudo is confident in John Jones. I mean, he's his coach. He has to be confident in John Jones. But, you know, you should definitely not underestimate Stipe. Unless Henry Sohudo is just saying that to, you know, just show confidence and stuff like that, you know? So, but anyways, guys, being Mr. Casual, please like, comment, subscribe, and be safe, everybody. All right? Take care. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,